Now, we will be discussing integration of functions using trigonometric identities. Just recall the identities what we have studied in class 11 like sin 2 theta, cos 2 theta, sin 3 theta, cos 3 theta, 1 plus cos theta and so on. Okay. Now, let's some, solve some examples also. Question number 1, integral sin square 2x plus 5 dx. It is in the form of the integrand is in the form of sin square x. There is a formula 1 minus cos 2 x is equal to 2 sin square x. So, we can use this formula to integrate this function. So, this can be written as integral 1 minus cos 2 into 2 x plus 5 whole divided by 2 because 2 cos square 2 sin square is not there. Now, this can be simplified as integral 1 by 2 minus cos 4 x plus 5 whole divided by 2 dx. So, integral if we simplify you will get 1 by 2 minus cos 4 x plus 10 whole divided by 2 dx. Now, just integrate what is integral 1 by 2 is x by 2 minus we will write 1 by 2 outside cos 4 x plus 10 is sin 4 x plus 10 whole divided by 4 because 4 x is there the derivative of 4 x plus 10 is 4 then plus c this is the integration of the given function. If we simplify x by 2 minus sin x sin 4 x plus 10 whole divided by 8 plus c will be the solution of the given integrand. Let us see one more question number 2 integral sin 3 x cos 4 x dx sin 3 x cos 4 x dx. We have seen in class 11 about the transformations. Well, what are the transformation formulas? For example, 2 sin a cos b is equal to sin a plus b plus sin a minus b. Similarly, we have one more 2 cos a sin b is equal to sin a plus b minus sin a minus b this in the form of either you can use 2 sin a cos b or you can write 2 cos a sin b this can be written as 1 by 2 2 cos 4 x sin 3 x. Now, tell me whether I can write like this or not I can write is it not and also why I have written like this I have brought the greater angle here so that I can integrate very easily when you take a plus b no problem when you take a minus b sometimes it may be negative even like that also you can solve just, just for convenient. I have taken this in the form of 2 cos sin. So, what is the formula or transformation product as functions as sum of functions is 2 cos sin that is 2 cos a sin b can be written as sin a plus b minus sin a minus b. If I apply that formula the second one you will get 1 by 2 integral sin a plus b 7 x minus sin x that is 4 x minus 3 x is sin x dx. So, I applied transformation formula writing the product of t ratios as sum of t ratios. So, that integration will be very easy otherwise it is the product of functions that is equal to 1 by 2 what is the integration of sin 7 x is minus cos 7 x box bracket cos 7 x by 7 sin x derivative cos x minus cos x. So, minus of minus plus cos x and plus c that means minus cos 7 x by 14 plus cos x by 2 plus c is the solution of the function. That means, here the function is given as product of functions then reduce the functions whether it is sin sin or cos cos or sin cos or cos sin apply this type of transformation formulas and they can integrate the function otherwise you have to it is looking like u into v, but u into v will be very lengthy we will be discussing later. So, this will be best write the product as sum and then integrate. Now, let us see one more example that is third one integral cos 2 x cos 4 x cos 6 x dx. That means, the given integrand is a product of three functions how to integrate this type of functions just take some arrangement I will write this for convenient cos 6 x cos 2 x and cos 4 x dx. I have written the given function into convenient form. So, that if I add 6 plus 4 
sorry 6 plus 2 8 8 by 2 4 x. So, just for small arrangement I have re rearranged the functions in this form and also greater angle minus smaller angle will give positive angle integrating will be very easy. Now, multiply and divide this function by 2 that is 1 by 2 into 2. So, that the 2 cos cos formula you can apply that is 2 cos a cos b is equal to cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. So, this formula we will be applying here I was asking what is 2 cos a cos b? 2 cos a cos b is cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. That formula we will be applying here. This is in the form of 2 cos a cos b. This can be as 1 by 2 integral cos 6x plus 2x 8x plus cos 4x into cos 4x dx. So, I applied this formula. The product can be written as sum. Now, this can be written as 1 by 2 integral cos 8x into cos 4x. I am multiplying this with cos 4x plus cos square 4x dx. Now, multiply and divide this by 2 so that this can be made as uh, 2 cos cos. So, therefore, this will become 1 by 4 integral 2 cos 8x cos 4x dx plus 1 by 2 sorry I will, I will write like this 2 cos square 4 x dx. Okay. So, I have multiplied and divided with 2, 2 cos 8 cos 8 x and cos 4 x plus 2 cos square 4 x. Now, directly can apply the formulas 2 cos cos can be written as cos 8 plus 4 is 12 x plus cos 8 x minus 4 x can be written as cos 4 x plus this 2 cos square 4 x can be written as 1 plus cos 8 x and then d x 1 plus cos 8 x is 2 cos square 4 x. Now, the product function is written as sum of functions now directly you can integrate that is equal to 1 by 4 go on integrating what is the integral of cos 12 x is sin 12 x by 12 plus cos 4 x is sin 4 x by 4 plus 1 integration of 1 is x x plus cos 8 x sin 8 x by 8 plus c is the integration. So, if you can multiply this with each term also otherwise the answer is um, 1 by 4 and so on this is the solution for uh, so cos 2 x cos 4 x and cos 6 x. Similarly, there is a very good question integral sin x sin 2 x sin 3 x. If there is a sin x sin 2 x sin 3 x we write a sin 3 x sin x and sin 2 x and then we solve this type of question. There is one simple question also number 1 number 4 integral 1 minus cos x whole divided by 1 plus cos x dx integral 1 minus cos x whole divided by 1 plus cos x. What is 1 plus 1 minus cos x 2 sin square x by 2. What is the denominator 1 plus cos x 2 cos square x by 2. 2 2 you can cancel dx that is equal to integral tan square x by 2. Can you find integration of tan square x by 2 directly? No. So, this can be written as integral secant square x by 2 minus 1 dx. So, write the integrand into known functions. Now, you can find the integration that is integral secant square x by 2 is tan x by 2 whole divided by 1 by 2 minus integration of 1 is x plus c. So, this will be the solution for integral 1 minus cos x by 1 plus sin x is equal to tan x by 2 whole divided by 1 by 2. How did you get this 1 by 2? x by 2 derivative is 1 by 2 minus derivative integralization of 1 is x and plus c is the constant of integration. We will see one more important question in integration of integration finding a function using identities that is integral sin power 4 x dx. Similarly, we can have cos power 4 x dx also. Let us see how to find integration of sin power 4 x dx. The thing is when you have higher powers of a trigonometric function, it is difficult to find integration. When you have multiple angles, then it is very easy. For example, integral sin 10 x dx is equal to minus cos 10 x by 10 plus c. So, integration of multiple angle wherever whatever the angle may be very easy, but when the 
you have higher powers like 3 cube, 4, 4, power 5 and so on, it is very difficult. Similarly, integral cos power 8x dx, you have to reduce the power and then you have to integrate. Now, how to solve this type of questions? Integral sin square x whole square x dx, we will write like this. Now, this can be written as integral sin square x can be written as, we have a formula 1 minus cos x is equal to 2 sin square x by 2. So, this one sin square x can be written as, we have a formula 1 minus cos 2 x is equal to 2 sin square x. Similarly, 1 plus cos 2 x is equal to 2 cos square x. So, we will be using this formula here. This sin square x can be written as 1 minus cos 2 x whole divided by 2 whole square dx. Now, this can be done, expand the whole square that is 1 by 4, this 2 taken outside 1 plus cos square 2 x minus 2 cos 2 x. Just have expanded the whole square, still you have whole square here, you reduce that also 1 by 4 integral 1 plus this cos square x can be written as 1 plus cos 2 x by 2, the another formula that is 1 minus cos 2 x is equal to 2 sin square x, 1 plus cos 2 x is equal to 2 cos square x. So, this cos square x can be written as 1 plus cos 2 x by 2 minus 2 cos 2 x dx. If you simplify, you will get 1 by 4 integral, this is 3 by 2 plus cos 2 x by 2 minus 2 cos 2 x dx. Now, let us find integration 1 by 4 I am keeping as it is outside. What is the integration of 3 by 2 is 3 x by 2 into plus 1 by 2 cos 2 x integration is sin 2 x by 2 minus 2 into cos 2 x integration again sin 2 x by 2. So, this is the integration of the function. If you simplify, you will get 3 x by 8 plus sin 2 x by 16 minus this 2 2 will cancel sin 2 x by 4 plus c. This will be the solution of the given function integral sin power 4 x dx and so on. Now, if you expand this whole square, this can be written as 1 by 4 integral 1 plus cos square 2 x minus 2 cos 2 x is the expansion dx. Again, this can be written as 1 by 4 integral 1 plus this cos square 2 x can be written as <coughs> 1 plus cos 4 x whole divided by 2 and minus 2 cos 2 x dx because we know 1 plus cos 2 x is equal to 2 cos square x. If there is x here you have 2 x, if there is 2 x here you will get 4 x here. So, therefore, this cos square 2 x can be written as 1 plus cos 4 x whole divided by 2. Now, just simplify that is 1 by 4 integral 3 by 2 plus cos 4 x by 2 minus 2 cos 2 x dx. If you integrate, integration of 3 by 2 is 3 x by 2 into plus integration of cos 4 x is sin 4 x, 2 is already there and whole divided by 4, remember. So, cos 4 x integration is sin 4 x whole divided by 4, already this 2 is here minus 2 is there, cos 2 x integration is sin 2 x whole divided by 2 plus c. So, this is the integration, if you simplify, you will get 3 x by 8 plus sin 4 x by 32 minus 2 2 will cancel, sin 2 x whole divided by 4 plus c will be the solution for the given function integral sin power 4 x dx. So far, we have seen how to find integration using substitution method, integration using trigonometric identities. Now, let us, let us see some integrations of some particular functions. What are these particular functions? Let us see. Number 1, if the integrand is of the form integral 1 by x square minus a square dx, the integration of this integrand is 1 by 2 a log x minus a by x plus a modulus plus c. Here, just we will resolve this into two functions and we integrate, we will get this result. Similarly, second one is integral 1 by a square minus x square dx can be written as 1 by 2 a 
log a plus x by a minus x is the integral of the function of this type. The third one is integral 1 by x square plus a square or a square plus x square both are same that integration of that function is 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus e. So, these are some peculiar functions we use this form to find integration of some functions. Proofs are very simple they are given in textbook you can see. Now, let us see some questions on this. Now, let us solve some problems of this form integral 1 by x square minus 25 dx this is in the form of integral 1 by x square minus 5 square this can be written as x square minus 5 square which is in the form of integral 1 by x square minus a square dx. So, integration of this is you recall the formula 1 by 2 a 1 by 2 into 5 log x minus a x minus 5 by x plus 5 plus c this will be the solution for this problem. That means, if it is not in the form reduce the given integrand into one of these forms and then we can find the integration of the given function. Similarly, here we have integral 1 by 36 minus 4 x square dx here we have a function of a function let us see how to find integration of this function this first of all this can be written as 1 by 6 square minus 4 x whole square. Now, tell me in which form this function is first form second form or third form this is in the form of second form integral 1 by a square minus x square this is constant. So, integration of this function is 1 by 2 a 2 into 6 log a plus x 6 plus 4 x whole divided by 6 minus 4 x not only this observe this 4 x whole divided by 4 will also come plus c. So, therefore, the final answer of this question is 1 by 6 to the 12 48 log 6 plus 4 x by 6 minus 4 x plus c will be the solution. Do not forget to divide the integrand with 4 because if it is only x square we do not divide anything. Since the function is a function of function 4 x whole square we can try we divide this function integration whole divided by 4. So, this will be the final answer for this question. See one more question which is very important here we take substitution also sometimes. Integral 3 x by 1 plus x power 4 here higher powers are there we will assume let x square is equal to t. If x square is equal to t 2 x dx is equal to dt. Suppose you have x power 6 here and x square here then we would have taken x cube is equal to t. Remember once again suppose you have x power 6 here and here x square we would have taken x cube is equal to t and so on. So, here we have x power 4. And